Uh, so my notes actually say, uh, first and foremost, plug your fucking podcast, you dumb fucking bitch. So I'm going to do that. Um, I have a podcast. It's called Sincerely Jennifer. You can find it pretty much everywhere. Um, it's fun. Uh, I read poetry and I talk about my life and stuff. Um, uh, I get a lot of emails from men. That's frightening for me. Uh, anyway, uh, here's something about Western beauty standards. Uh, it's called... Old Brown Eyes is back. When I was 17, I decided, much like Joanne the scammer, that I was going to scam my way into being a Caucasian woman. <laughs> being biracial was cancelled because I had spent my EMA, and that really ages me, on White Girl Foundation and a relaxer kit that was on sale on Superdrug that I actually didn't know how to use. And it was time to be the messiest, most dramatic Caucasian woman <laughs> that my neighborhood had ever seen. <laughs> I had also ordered an information pack from a darling doctor who promised to give me a perfectly petite nose. Just a little internally racist razzle-dazzle. I'm not actually sure if I can be racist against myself, but there we are. And I could be like everyone else, walking down the street without worrying about stop and search, shopping without security guard stalkers, seeing myself on screens and magazines. But there was just one problem, as there often is. I could paint my previous identity until it was white and bright, yikes, and get my face bent into a whiter shape, but it wouldn't work. I could choke the life out of my hair with chemicals, but I knew as I surveyed my new face, I'd be staring with the center of sunflowers, and I couldn't bear to cover them with contacts for sentimental and also squeamish reasons because I saw a film once and I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> so I decided that being a white woman was simply too difficult. I have no idea how my mother does it. So I decided I would spend my no job money on sunflowers, filling my home with the beauty that I finally saw in the center of my eyes.